Isn't anybody that, that knew Johnny O'Keefe that doesn't feel his loss. That's all for this edition of Dateline. And check out our Talking Dateline podcast. Andrea Canning and Blaine Alexander will go behind the scenes of tonight's episode, available Wednesday in the Dateline feed wherever you get your podcasts. We'll see you again next Friday at 9, 8 central. I'm Lester Holt. For all of us at NBC News, good night. Live from Rhinelander, this is News Watch 12 at 10, the Northwoods' best news with Jessica Jukic, Chief Meteorologist Jeff Weller, and Saul Meyer with sports. News from where you live starts now. Good evening, I'm Jessica Jukic. A new report from the CDC shows that Wisconsin children are lagging behind other states in protecting children from vaccine-preventable diseases. The new data included diseases such as polio, diphtheria, pertussis, tetanus, also known as DTaP, as well as measles, mumps, and rubella shots, known as MMR. The report showed that 84.8% of kindergartners were up to date on their MMR vaccine, while nationally 92.7% of children have received the MMR vaccine. When you look at the number of children, I mean, this is the population of Wisconsin children for kindergarten, um, even a small change is a large number of kids. It's too many kids that we want to be unprotected. So unfortunately, we did see decreases um, in just about every uh, thing that was measured, um, including DTAP. The cause of the decline in vaccine rates vary on different contributing factors throughout the state. The pandemic is just one. We know that immunization rates um, also can be affected by mis and disinformation. Um, we know that there can be uh, access issues in terms of families being able to get to uh, a vaccinating uh, clinic or um, healthcare provider. For information on getting up to date with vaccines, people should reach out to their healthcare provider. Jason, it was a beautiful day. How's our weekend looking? Our weekend's looking great, Jessica. We're going to have warm temperatures, a little bit of clouds for tomorrow, but going into Sunday and Monday, lots of sun and temperatures in those low to mid 70s, which is definitely not expected for this time of year. So I'm sure we're all happy about that. Right now, cooling off right around 57 degrees here in town. We can see 54 in Eagle River, Minocqua, right around 57 as well. We're not going to drop too much for tonight. We see cooler temperatures down south already. And the reason why is because we have those gusty winds a little bit up north. As you can see, that blue is in the northwest western portion of the state for right now. Sustained winds right around 9 miles per hour in Manitowish waters, probably gusting up to around 15, maybe even 20 miles per hour, and that is what helps transfer heat. So that is why we're going to see a warm night for tonight. And another thing is we, is very, very dry. Dew points around the mid-20s and right around 30 degrees here in town. So those two mixed together, the gusty winds and the dry air, is the reason why we have fire risk in place. So don't be burning those uh, leaf piles just yet, even though we now are seeing lots of leaves on the ground. That is a very very dangerous thing to do with those gusty winds, so wait for those winds to die down. Other than that, taking a look ahead into tonight, we can see we have a very warm night tonight, well above average lows, right around 50 degrees due to those gusty winds. Jessica. Thanks, Chase. Senator Tammy Baldwin and candidate Eric Hovde faced off tonight in their sole debate of the 2024 Wisconsin U.S. Senate race. It took place in Madison and was moderated by Wisconsin Broadcasting Hall of Fame member Jill Geisler. They answered questions on many different topics, including PFAS contamination, foreign policy, misleading ads, immigration, reproductive rights, and Social Security. We can extend the solvency of Social Security very easily. It's called lifting the income cap. Right now, multimillionaires like uh, my opponent, Eric Hovde, uh, pay minute amounts. They're not doing their fair share. If we would have kept Social Security in a trust and not pilfered from it like you have for the last 26 years as a politician, Social Security would be in much better place. The live debate lasted one hour. Meanwhile, both presidential campaigns were in the battleground state of Michigan today in the final sprint to the election. Vice President Kamala Harris held multiple events today, including a rally near Detroit. She made a pitch to the middle class, embracing what she calls an opportunity economy. Focused 
on a future where we bring down the cost of living, invest in small businesses and entrepreneurs, protect reproductive freedom. Meanwhile, Donald Trump held a rally in Detroit where he made promises about manufacturing and continued harsh language on immigration. He also encouraged people to vote early. Get everyone you know and go out and vote. Go tomorrow. It's just starting. Go and vote. Make sure you vote and bring all our friends that want to vote for us. Trump and Harris are tied in the polls in Michigan. Harris will be campaigning in Georgia this weekend while Trump will be in Pennsylvania. Parts of Interstate 94 in Kenosha, Wisconsin, remain closed after a fiery crash Friday afternoon. The crash involved multiple vehicles, including two semi-trucks. The trucks both caught fire. The crash led to the closure of all southbound lanes. Two northbound lanes were also closed, but they have since reopened. There's no word yet on any injuries from the accidents. The crash is under investigation. In recent years, UW Stevens Point has seen an influx in business students, especially female students. As of fall 2023, 51% of the UWSP School of Business student population were women. And one professor is committed to continuously supporting this population. While standing in front of Stevens Point Trailblazer mural featuring Ruth Bader Ginsburg, Associate Professor Lena Matizzi recounts how her journey in the business world 25 years ago where she noticed a large difference between her and her colleagues. I'm sitting in a pit with a little tiny Apple computer supporting a bunch of men in their leadership work. I was often sitting at tables where there weren't any other women. That has a lot of impact on someone. Her own experience inspired her to begin uplifting female students in UW Stevens Point's business program. Five years ago, when the Association to Advance Collegiate Schools of Business began asking universities to focus on elevating women leaders, Matezi jumped at the chance to do just that. After a small planning session, the Women's Trailblazer Conference was born. For five years, we've been giving a place for women to unleash the ideas and the power that they have to start new stuff. The conference is targeted towards Wisconsin women of all ages, education, and careers. It will offer 25 keynote speakers and breakout sessions to help women connect and elevate each other. The conference will take place on November 6th from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the UWSP Dreyfus University Center. It's available to attend in person or virtually. It's Friday Night Blitz. We'll have a recap of games in our area. And retail spending is going up. We'll have the details after Weather with Chase right here on Newswatch 12. Get an 11% rebate on your home upgrade now at Menard. Get style and durability at a budget-friendly price. Bryant Final Plank Flooring is waterproof, easy to install, and is only $159 per square foot after rebate. Transform your home with top appliance brands, including KitchenAid, Whirlpool, Maytag, Amana, and Criterion. Save over $800 on this KitchenAid electric convection range after sale price and 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. Eric Hovde has a problem. A problem with the truth. Time and again, his ads have been called false. He's a desperate candidate willing to say anything. But here's what's true. Eric Hovde has a plan to slash Social Security 28%, Medicare 25%, veterans benefits 40%, all to spend $4 trillion on tax breaks for rich guys like himself. Eric Hovde's lying, and he's not for us. I'm Tammy Baldwin, and I approve this message. Today, it's even harder for the middle class. And Yi Ling Zhang will only make things worse. A government takeover of health care, eliminating private health insurance, defunding police, and career politician Zhang loves increasing your taxes. A supervisor and school board member, Zhang increased your property tax bill, all while increasing his own pay on your dime, too. Yi Ling Zhang's destructive policies are making things even harder for the middle class. Come on. Zhang is just wrong for Wausau. A hard day's work makes for a good night's rest. A good night's rest calls for a good cup of coffee. 
Some good coffee prepares it for the work day ahead. That work day promises dirt, stains, and a good sweat. A good sweat shows you had a hard day's work. And when that day is done, you do it all again tomorrow. And you live for tomorrow. Because tomorrow you can do it better and build it bigger. There's DNA. Then there's heavy duty DNA. H DNA. It's engineered into every aspect of the GMC Sierra HD. With the pulling power to prove it. Tow hitches of the world prepare for glory. Get 5.9% APR for 84 months on Sierra Heavy Duty Denali models. That's over 5,300 in average finance savings. Larry is back at Sunspace of Manaqua. Sunspace has been serving the area for over 25 years. We bring the outdoors inside without the bugs, rain, or wind. A Sunspace sunroom from Sunspace from Manaqua is the answer. The three-season rooms fitted with unbreakable telescoping windows, the largest view, custom-built to your patio or deck. Enjoy the outdoors today without the bugs, rain, or wind. Contact Sunspace of Manaqua to schedule your free estimate today. Come see our displays at Leisure City. Welcome back, everybody. Hope you're all having a great night out there. It's going to be a warm night tonight with a little bit of gusty winds out there. We can see right now 57 degrees with those clear skies, but we have the wind right around 8 miles per hour from the south-southwest. Dew points right around 30, so very dry, and we have very high pressure well above that 30-inch mark. For highs today, almost touched 70 degrees here in town. We saw Minocqua do that and many other areas across, our, uh, across the Northwoods, right around Phillips, Tomahawk, Merrill, all around 70 degrees for their highs today and going down a little bit south a little little bit warmer into those low 70s. We'll pack it right around 72. Wisconsin Rapids at 70. Even so, Ashland get up to 75 degrees all the way up north for today. So a very warm day, and we're going to see that throughout the next few days as well. For tonight, the models aren't really catching up with the wind gusts, so we do have those clear skies, so that is why it's showing mid-40s, but we should be right around 50 degrees with those gusty winds for tonight. We can see that a little bit in the west where that front is going to be coming in, where they'll have some cloud cover. So Hayward, right around those mid-50s for tonight. And those temperatures are actually a little bit more accurate accurate down south. Expect those upper 30s maybe in Wausau and then uh, low 40s for many other areas in our southern viewing area for tonight. But as we continue on into tomorrow, the warmer areas are going to be down south. We'll see those areas getting back up into those low 70s for tomorrow. We'll have some cloud cover here up north in the north woods, uh, especially in town. Showing only 64 here, but we should still be a little bit warmer with that high pressure really settling in. We'll be right around 67 degrees for the high. Maybe some temperatures a little bit cooler in those low to mid 60s in our very uh, northern counties, right around Ashland Island and Vilas. Other than that, we are going to be in store for another warm day. Uh, as we take a look at the temperature trend going into Sunday and Monday, it's going to get very warm, well above average temperatures, right around 73 on Sunday, 74 on Monday, and even close to 70 on Tuesday as well. So the next few days are going to be very nice. Make sure you get outside and enjoy the nice weather before we have some much cooler weather coming in after a cold front on Tuesday night, dropping those highs for Wednesday only in the upper 40s, and then right around average for Thursday and Friday in those mid 50s. As we can see, for right now, we do have a little bit of weather coming in, in the northwestern portion of the state. This front may just uh, scrape by Ashland and Iron Counties for tonight, dropping a few sprinkles out there and definitely bringing some cloud cover as well. Other than that, we'll all be in the clear, have some mostly clear skies for tonight in the Northwoods and down south as well. And another thing is, as we've been talking about gusty winds and very dry air, that does put us at a high risk for fire danger. So we have lots of uh, leaves on the ground and people are going to be making those leaf piles. Please be careful lighting those because we still have gusty winds for the next few days. Maybe wait a few days for the wind to die down before you light those uh, uh, leaf piles. So that's what is definitely in store for us with a high risk of fire danger. Other than that, few clouds for tonight, low right around 50 degrees. We're going to be gusting around 25 miles per hour from the south-southwest for tonight. And for tomorrow, a mostly cloudy day, maybe a few sprinkles here in town. We will have a high right around 67 degrees with winds gusting still right around 20 miles per hour. Taking a look at our seven-day forecast, we can see 73 for sun. Sunday, 74 on Monday, but that cold front comes in Tuesday night with a high of only 49 on Wednesday. Jessica. Thanks, Chase. Americans are still opening their wallets despite years of elevated inflation. According to new government data, spending at U.S. retailers climbed 0.4 percent in September from the prior month. The largest increase was seen at specialty stores, clothing stores, and at health and personal care shops. Consumer spending makes up about 70% of the U.S. economy. We'll be right back. 
This is Bidenomics. Bidenomics. Two-thirds of registered voters believe the economy is getting worse. And we are very proud of Bidenomics. The, the rising uh, gas prices, food prices, really wallop the black community. Imagine a mother who's making minimum wage trying to feed children. They're killing us without killing us. That is called Bidenomics. <laughs> Restoration Pack is responsible for the content of this advertising. Did you know more than one-third of adults don't get enough sleep at night? Hi, I'm Kristen from Sleep Central on Highway 51 South in Manaqua, your bedding and futon headquarters. Our specialty sleep shop is committed to helping you sleep. We carry the largest selection of name brand mattresses in northern Wisconsin, in stock and ready for delivery. With a wide variety of futons and unique bedroom furniture with quality all-wood construction, as well as accessories to complement your bedding, we are your one-stop sleep shop. Sleep Central. Better sleep, pain-free. That's our promise. As a working mom, I'm feeling the pain of inflation. Everything costs more these days because of Biden and Kamala's wasteful spending. And while we pay more, they're giving away our hard-earned money to illegal immigrants. Tammy Baldwin is just as bad. Baldwin voted to give amnesty and taxpayer benefits to illegal immigrants. She even gave them government stimulus checks and free health care. We can't afford Tammy Baldwin and her handouts to illegal immigrants. I'm Eric Covdy and I approve this message. Sure, it's nice to have my three older kids home to visit. Oh yeah, I love coming home. I miss having soft water. That's why I bring my laundry home on the weekend. It's so much better for my hair too, but you wouldn't know anything about that, Corey. Well, that's why my hair looks so nice and moisturized. What do you know about moisturized hair? Hmm. Well, having two older sisters and a brother who only showers a couple times a week helps. Well, actually, 72 years of treating water in Wisconsin is our family's story. You kids are pretty well versed in water. So let us make your family's water better today. I'm Rebecca Cook, and I grew up on a dairy farm. I run a small business and waitress to make ends meet. I'm running for Congress because I'm tired of politicians who look down on people who work for a living. Like Derek Van Norden. He told someone, I don't give a f who you are. I'm a congressman. And worse, he supports a total abortion ban even if a woman's been raped or her life is on the line. I'm Rebecca Cook, and I approve this message because Derek Van Orden serves himself, and I'll serve you. Coming up on News Watch 12 today, we'll be joined by Kate Heidemann for another edition of Race Watch 12. And your full Weather Watch 12 forecast coming up on your Monday morning from 5 to 7 a.m. This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by Northwoods Furniture, Eagle River. News Watch 12's Big Old Fish is brought to you by Kurtz Island Sports Shop in Manaqua. Floridians were out ice fishing on a trip north. They'd been at it for hours and didn't catch a thing. I don't know what we're doing wrong, one man said. Just then a local passed by in a snowmobile with a bucket of fish. The other man said, that's why we're not catching anything. We're not trolling. The first entry today is from Jackson Ray. Jackson caught this trout fishing on Lake Michigan. That trout sure is one big old fish. Great job, Jackson. Ninety-three years young, Luis loves to fish for northerns a few times a week. She caught this 24-inch northern on Lake Alice on a meth spinner. Way to go, bringing in that big old fish, Luis. Our third entry is a triple pack from Matt, Scott, and Mark, who are fishing with minnows on a fence lake chain. Scott landed the smallmouth, and about 10 minutes later, Mark landed his. The fishing companion line has made sure they release it shortly after the photo and kept a close eye on those lines. Anglers, for your chance to win the fish mount from Norland Taxidermy Studio in Rhinelander, enter the Big Old Fish Contest at WJFW.com or send us your photo and description of your catch. Brought to you by Kurtz Island Sports Shop in Monaco. Tight lines, y'all. Eric Hovde has a problem. A problem with the truth. Time and again, his ads have been called false. He's a desperate candidate willing to say anything. But here's what's true. Eric Hovde has a plan to slash Social Security 28%, Medicare 25%, veterans' benefits 40%, all to spend $4 trillion on tax breaks for rich guys like himself. Eric Hovde's lying, and he's not for us. I'm Tammy Baldwin, and I approve this message. Sweetwater Spirits and Resort is open throughout the year. 
Dine in with a great view of Duck Lake. Carryout is also available. Enjoy roasted chicken, shrimp, burgers, pizza, Friday night fish fry, and Saturday night prime rib. Great happy hour deals Monday through Friday from 3 to 6 and live music on the weekends. Sweetwater Spirits and Resort is family friendly and opens at 11 a.m. daily. Find us on Facebook to view nightly specials. My name is Bill. I am retired. I'm a Marine Corps veteran, and I live here in Wisconsin. I am not a political person, but Eric Covdy doesn't understand how important Social Security and Medicare are around here. I'm on Social Security, and Hudvey said he absolutely supported cuts to Social Security and Medicare. Imagine working longer, paying into the system, and then poof, you're paying your bills with less. He knows it. Cutting Social Security and Medicare will cost us. He just doesn't care. When Senate is responsible for the content of this message. This message is to all homeowners, businesses, and churches that need a new roof. Most people know American Quality Homes as Wisconsin's premier roofing experts. As remodelers, we see a lot of roofs. We have found that 90% of roofs we inspect have mistakes. As for pricing, big roofing companies are charging way too much. So at American Quality Homes, we've decided to do something about it. We're making a pledge to all homeowners who need a new roof. Our pledge is simple. One, your roof will be done right the first time. Two, you will get the very best value guaranteed. And three, all of our projects are backed with an insurance policy. You need an AQH roof. Go to aqhroofs.com. That's aqhroofs.com. Taco John's new two for five Fiesta chicken tacos are here to Fiesta. Grilled old white made chicken is here to Fiesta. And creamy Fiesta sauce is obviously here to Fiesta. That's kind of its thing. New two for five dollar Fiesta chicken tacos at Taco John's. Let's talk about Rebecca Cook. She's a political operative. She's worked for defund the police radicals across this country. Cook spent millions getting Mandela Barnes elected. The most anti-law enforcement candidate in Wisconsin's history. You remember Barnes, the guy who said reducing prison populations was sexy? Defund the police radicals make it harder for us to keep you safe. That's why we can't support Rebecca Cook, because she'll never support us. Derek Van Orden, and I approve this message. Friday Night Blitz is brought to you by Merrill Steel, Rock Oil Refining, and Sweetwater Spirits and Resort. Your Blitz starts now. Friday Night Blitz, I'm Stallmeyer, and that is my partner, Drew Telly. Drew, it's the final week of the regular season. I'm amazing how quickly it goes by. Most conferences, they've already been decided, but we've got one left, and there was a big matchup tonight. Mozambique has won the Great Northern Conference the past three years, and we're looking to make it four in a row. Standing in their way, though, the Medford Raiders, who've already clinched at least a share, unbeaten in the conference, and they have a share of the conference so far this year. They can end Mozambique's streak with a win and also bring home the rivalry trophy in the process, the cheese grater. A conference title and a cheese grater on the line, that makes this an easy choice for our Friday Night Blitz game of the week. Will Haroldson is there with the result. Will? History was on the line in the high school football regular season finale as Medford faced off against Mosini. The Raiders have already clinched a share of the GNC conference title and look to take it outright. However, Mosini was looking to win their fourth straight conference crown. The game started with a bang for the Raiders as after a kick out of bounds, Medford would try a re-kick, and on that kick, Evan Wilkins would work some magic and take this one 65 yards for the score, and Medford draws first blood. After a fumbled punt, Medford would be on a drive again. First end goal, and Paxton Rothmeyer powers his way into the end zone for another score, and the Raiders are pumped up. Defense would also come up big for the Raiders. Stoffel throws this one over the middle, and Evan Paul reads that route perfectly and comes up with the big interception. Raiders did it with the run, and now they're going to do it with the pass. Charlie Gerrold gets it on the curl and turns on the Jets and will take it all the way to the end zone for the big-time score. Medford goes on to win this one by a final score of 58-35 to and will capture the outright GNC Conference title. Well, there you have it. The Medford Raiders are your GNC Conference champions as they win it in outright fashion. Well, that's going to do it for now. Reporting here in Mosney, I'm Will Haroldson, Newswatch 12. Thanks for that, Will. Those Raiders. Those Raiders. Oh, there we go.
were your pick before the season to win the conference, and uh, they made you proud. Looking pretty smart right there. All right, stayed in the GNC, and there was a milestone matchup tonight for Rhinelander and Merrill in Rhinelander. The Hodags and the Blue Jays squaring off for the 100th time Ooh. in the history of the matchup. The Hodags were at home needing a win to keep their playoff hopes alive, while the Blue Jays were just looking to add to their already secure playoff resume. Let's start with the Hodags. Truman Lamer is going to roll out. He's going deep, and they connect the Hodags with a big play, and they are in the Merrill red zone. Lamers would finish off that drive himself. He's just going to push, push it in from a yard out. Touchdown, Hodags. But Merrill, they would have every answer in this one. Aiden Lonsdorf going to drop back. Watch how he's just going to evade the rush out of the pocket and just do it himself. He's going to slide down inside the Rhinelander 10. Merrill would then punch it in. Jack Han Jack's Hansen from a couple yards out. He scores Blue Jays. They go on to win this one, 30 to 18. Now to Crandon, where the Cardinals hosted the Clintonville Truckers. It was Crandon early and often in this one. Brexton Kane finds a hole up the middle, and look at the blazing speed from the kid. Goes untouched 40 yards to the house for a touchdown. It's 6-0 Crandon. Clintonville forced to punt. Guess what? Blocked by Cruz Palubicki. Jackson Keepers picks up the ball and brings it into the end zone. Now it's 12-0 Crandon. And a few minutes later, they would score again. Again, again, that's all they did this game was score. Check out the two-point, though. Nifty two-point conversion, halfback pass to keepers. They end up winning this one 57 to nothing. What a great bunch of games we saw tonight, Drew, but we're not done yet. No, the Blitz not. is back after the break. In a country where dreams are woven into the fabric of the nation, Rock Oil is driven by the spirit of the American dream. Environmentally, we take pride in our oil processing technology and related waste recycling. Fueled by passion, innovation, and patriotism, we're proud to be an American company. A flood of illegals, skyrocketing prices, global chaos, and Kamala wouldn't change a thing. Would you have done something differently than President Biden during the past four years? Uh, there is not a thing that comes to mind. Nothing will change with Kamala. More weakness, more war, more welfare for illegals, and even more taxes. Only President Trump cut middle class taxes, and only President Trump will do it again. I'm Donald J. Trump, and I approve this message. My name is Bill. I am retired. I'm a Marine Corps veteran, and I live here in Wisconsin. I am not a political person, but Eric Hovde doesn't understand how important Social Security and Medicare are around here. I'm on Social Security, and Hovde said he absolutely supported cuts to Social Security and Medicare. Imagine working longer, paying into the system, and then poof, you're paying your bills with less. He knows it. Cutting Social Security and Medicare will cost us. He just doesn't care. When Senate is responsible for the content of this message. Have you heard Eric Hovde? I am totally opposed to abortion. I am totally opposed to politicians telling women what we can do. Extremists all over the country have passed abortion bans. Criminal penalties for doctors. No exceptions for rape or incest. Women are dying just trying to get health care. There are even restrictions in Wisconsin. This has to stop. I am totally opposed to abortion. We are totally opposed to Eric Hovde. I'm Tammy Baldwin, and I approve this message. Saturday, October 26th, the Wisconsin Department of Justice is holding a free prescription drug and sharps take back event. If you have unused or unwanted medications, ointments, patches, non aerosol sprays, inhalers, vials, or pet medication, clean out your medicine cabinets. Don't let your old medication fall into the wrong hands by disposing of the medications properly. For more information on locations and accepted items, go to doseofrealitywi.gov. This information is brought to you by the Human Service Center of Forest, Vilas, and Oneida County. Right, Jake Middle, and on the left. Yeah, I knew I'd Dean. win. Are you saying What's something? really happening over there? I think you're on mute. There's no substitute for real gaming fun. Go where fun lives. <laughs> Old Chunk Gaming Wittenberg. <laughs> 
serving our community and our environment. Rock Oil Refining in Stratford specializes in turning used motor oil and antifreeze back into pure raw materials and custom finished products. Premium quality, affordable prices, environmentally responsible. Rock Oil Refining. Huge online auction, Shimkus Auto Body, Rhinelander, Wisconsin. Open house October 19th. Trucks, cars, track loader, lifts, 22 guns, tools, and more. Colonel Renee Brass and St. Louis Auctions. Friday Night Blitz on Newswatch 12. Your blitz starts now. Welcome back to the Friday Night Blitz. I'm Saul Meyer, and that is my partner, Drew Chelly. Drew, we've already seen a few games with playoff implications tonight, but we're not done yet. No, we are not, Saul. Lakeland Union and Tomahawk played with the T-Bird season essentially on the line. And Tomahawks, too. Winner gets playoff eligibility and maybe gets selected. You know, other one not. Defense has been the story of these two teams this season. They couldn't have asked for a more even matchup that both of these two teams could have asked for. So let's see who came out on top and kept their season alive in this showdown between Lakeland Union and Tomahawk at Hatchet Field. Third quarter, a little late for a first game, for a first score of the game, in my opinion, but not too late. Noah Bruckner doing what he does best, powering his way into the end zone for a touchdown, make it 7 0. T Bird, Tomahawk responded. Tegan Sarazin is going to find his way into the end zone, make it 6 7. But this is why special teams matter. On the extra point, Eli. Elijah Ewald hurdles the long snapper and blocks the kick. Lakeland Union is going to go on to win this thing 7-6. to six. Let's go to some eight-man football. Niagara taking on Three Lakes. Blue Jays strike first. Carter Flannery got the cast on the left hand and everything, but he's going to find his way into the end zone. Blue Jay touchdown. Now, you probably haven't seen a play like this. Punt block. Tommy Martin just going to stay with it, pick it up, fire downfield. Noah Wheeler comes down with it for the first down. But back comes Three Lakes, the freshman quarterback, Easton Lurvey, going downfield to Owen Liebscher, who's going to catch the pass. He is going to drag the defender for about 10 yards, but wait for it. Fumbles at the one-yard line, but he stays right with it, jumps on it, and scores Three Lakes. They win it 38-28. to 28. Now, I know this is usually football, but we had some state tennis going on today, and Sarah Barton had herself a weekend. She was able to win her first match uh, yesterday and then her first match today to make it to the quarterfinals. Unfortunately, though, she fell to the number one overall seed, but she's still playing tomorrow for that fifth place matchup. What a great bunch of games we saw tonight, Drew. It was a lot of fun in the regular season, just like that. Nine weeks, done. It's playoff time. Now it is time for the playoffs. We'll see y'all then on the Friday Night Blitz. Y'all watching at home. Have a great night. Are you tired of not being able to use your screened porch when the weather isn't cooperating? The Sunspace Porch Enclosure is the answer with four-track telescoping vinyl glazed window system providing 75% airflow. Leisure City, Highway 51 North Woodruff, Sunspace of Minocqua. I became a doctor to help people. But for the drug insurance companies, it's all about making money. And to keep making money, they donate millions to career politicians. Pat Snyder is one of them. Snyder voted their way in the assembly against covering patients with pre-existing conditions and against a plan that would lower prescription costs. He is different. Drug and insurance companies have career politicians fighting for them. In the assembly, I'll fight for you. Christmas snowstorm. My whole leg swelled up. My doctor said to get to the ER immediately. Surgery went well, but then I got billed. I struggled with the VA bureaucracy for months. Then I called Tom Tiffany. Nine days later, the VA paid my bill. The doctor saved my leg. Tom saved me from medical debt, and he got me my veteran benefits when no one else could. I'm Tom Tiffany, and I approve this message. There are trucks, and then there's the GMC Sierra. Available with the connected driving experience. And the world's first six-function multi-pro tailgate. 
GMC Sierra. It's the truck. Get 0% APR on select 2024 Sierra 1500 models. That's over 6400 total value. Plus, no monthly payments until next year. Visit your North Central Wisconsin GMC dealer. I've been with U.S. Cellular for 27 years. They've always taken care of me. But when they asked me to talk to you about their special customer event, Us Days, I said, I gotta get in shape. So they sent me this Hollywood trainer. Oh, this guy's no...